All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Brighthop, and I've got another episode of the Unboxing Theory Liberty Bridge YouTube channel for you today. So the question is, what are you going to do, all right? So right now, it doesn't matter if you have a baby, it doesn't matter if you have, uh, you know, older family members or what's going on, maybe you just want home security. How are you going to know what's going on in your house while you're in the shower or you're away from home or whatever you're doing, right? So I've got pajamas on here and the shirt I slept in. I need to go take a shower. How am I going to get in the shower? Here's what I'm going to do. I got me um, my old cell phone here. It finally charged. It took a while to charge it back up again. And one thing you need to know about these old cell phones like the Android phone is they don't allow you to use the Play Store to install apps um, for some reason. So what I've had to do on this is I actually went online and just typed in uh, Google Play or Google Play Store. And through the browser, I was able to install the Nui Cam, that's N-O-O-I-E, uh, as the app, okay, to get this camera working up here. This camera that's following me around. We're going to show you that in a minute. And so how this is going to work is as long as I'm connected to data or Wi-Fi with this old cell phone that wasn't working because it got wet, now it is working again, um, it's working good enough for this. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. And then someone else sent me, these are all products people sent me to review besides the, the phone. I have this smart phone bag and it says accept nothing but the best. It's a Ziploc bag with an eyelet on it so you can hang it if you need to. And you just put your phone in here. So I'm going to do that while the phone is uh, starting up here, the Blue Pure XR. It does fit in this bag. Uh, the, this phone and my current phone, I'm using the Yumi Digi F1 Play, barely fit um, in this bag, but they do fit. So. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. The fingerprint uh, sensor on this phone does not work anymore. There was a bunch of other things that were wrong with it, but eventually it dried out and now it works again. And I got to zip it into the bag. And this is where it gets tricky because this phone, like I said, is um, pretty big. I should measure it for you. There's the app running in here. And then all I got to do uh, to pair this, you do have to scan the barcode on your uh, camera and create an online account. Once you do that, all you gotta do is log in to that online account from any uh, phone or device that you can install the Nui app on. And so we just go up here and we we'll just tap. Uh, of course, you gotta make sure the camera is going first. Turn it sideways. And now you can see uh, me here and I can scroll to move the camera around and you can see me. But we don't wanna see me, we wanna see my grandma. She's eating breakfast over here. So let's get out of the way so you can see that and also show you the camera. So first of all, this is the camera. Down, I'm going to move it up. And I can move it from side to side. And it will actually track me automatically. I don't have to uh, move it manually. So if someone gets up, moves around, whatever. And you can zoom in digitally. This does not have an optical zoom, but it does zoom in digitally. And there's enough detail for me to tell what's going on. And that's the purpose of this. All right, so here I can see Grandma. I can zoom in to what she's doing right there, and I can see her eating her breakfast. And not only that, if I turn this on, I can communicate back and forth with the audio, so I can hear what's going on and she can hear me. And so if I see that she's starting to get up or she's doing something where she's gonna fall or something and I'm in the shower, I can just tell her, or ask her to sit back down, and that works really well. So, you know, or if I had somebody else that was watching grandma and I wanted to know um, what was going on. I could do that. I did that just yesterday. Uh, someone was watching my grandma for a few minutes and I was able to communicate with grandma and see what was going on. So, all right. So for those of you who want to know, I'm going to show you the length of this phone and the width of it. So here we go. We're going to open this up and clamp it down. This is with the case that's on the phone, by the way, and it opens the entire width of this caliper, which is 15.66 or sorry, 156.6 millimeters or 6.16 inches. So the phone's probably about six inches long without the case. We're in inches right now. It says it is 3.06 inches wide or 7.79. Uh, obviously a wider phone would have fit into that bag that I had. Uh, using the links in the description of the video, you should be able to get you know whatever bag you want to get for your phone. But the main thing needs to be able to have a touch, you know, so you can touch through the bag. That's why it's got to be a cell phone bag and not a regular one. 
So as you can see, I have had a successful shower. I got changed and my grandma was uh, folding laundry while I was in the shower and she did a very good job. She folds shirts better than anyone that I know. I'm, I have a really hard time getting them as nice as she does. And so that worked out. All right. Thanks so much for watching the VMA. God bless you, your family, your business, your income, and everything that God has for you to do. And please follow every word Proceed to the mouth of God, as Jesus said, to go to ChristianCourse.com and read your Bible to learn more. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourse.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. Now you're playing with power, super power. Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com. So hopefully you guys saw the video of me cruising around on the bike. I'm pretty sure I did that. Boy, that reflector is reflective in the camera, isn't it? But anyways, I'm going to show you guys my lighting. I got my lighting all done. So there's the uh, just the standard running lights. Got the license plate light going. You can see it there. Okay, so that's sweet. And you can find that on howtobuildamoped.com, that part there. I got it for free. Somebody sent me that. So wires go along here underneath the gas tank. Tried to keep them nice and clean and out of sight there with the black wrapping around like that and of course you can see down here the extra hardware now I was able to use the same mount the uh, CDI there for the uh, regulator there we go and then of course I got my motorcycle uh, headlight switch here this is for four-way I, I changed this to be four-way flashers because I needed a switch for that this switch sucks this is the one that came with the headlights here 
and uh, this switch sucks because when I turn them off, uh, sometimes the red laser stays on. It didn't this time, but there it flashes. There you go to low beam, so I don't use all my power. There's the red laser. It's supposed to be pointed upside down. The red laser is supposed to be on the ground. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to figure out a way to turn this upside down. And if I did, I think it would just hit my basket. Here's left signal light, right signal light. Somebody sent me these signal lights too. Uh, what I'd like to do, honestly, is have just a little light, yellow light here hooked into this, just so it's easy to see from the side. But, you know, this is the side profile of the bike. Even, you know, you can see I'm kind of behind it. And you can still see the signal light from this side. So, pretty good. Mm -hmm. 